Hi guys, so it's me, Fashana, your marriage counselor, and today I want to talk about being thoughtful for your spouse, even if you don't want to. Like for example, I'm in my car right now because I just left from TGI Fridays, picking up some food for my husband to eat. Now as I'm driving back, I know that I'm hungry, I know that I'm going to get something to eat before I get back to the house where he's home with the baby, and um... I was just going to stop because I didn't have him on my mind per se. I was just going to stop, get myself something to eat, get in the car, keep it going, get to the house. And I just knew that that wouldn't be the right thing to do, to come to the house with food and he's home, probably not cooking because he acts like he doesn't know how to cook or that the stove is like an alien or something, I don't know. And I didn't. I stopped and I called and I asked him that he wants something to eat and asked him where did he want it from and he's the one who picked Fridays. So I went to Fridays to get both him and I something to eat. Although I really didn't want to do it. I'm outside. I have on sweatpants. I look like a hot mess. I didn't want to stop but I know that when you're in a relationship it's more than just you. It's not only about you. It's about your spouse. Whether it's your wife, whether it's your husband, you really do have to think about your spouse and always think about meeting your spouse needs. And I know in treating a lot of couples in my practice, sometimes they get so deep into their selfish ways that they don't see the importance of putting their spouse first. And that happens to all of us. That was even me. I'm driving home. I'm thinking about myself. I'm not thinking about my husband. But I knew, I knew once I walked into that house and I had something to eat and he didn't have anything to eat, it wasn't going to be a nice scene. So I put my own selfishness aside, thought about him, stopped, picked him something to eat, going home, and then we'll both be happy. And you know what? Truth be told, he'll love me more for that. He'll be very happy that I thought of him. And so would your husband, or so would your wife. If you just think about them and think about their needs before your own, I'm sure that they'll be happy. Until next time, have a happy, happy holiday and a safe Christmas to everyone out there. Thank you for listening.